Hey guys, it's FIFA Valley here, and welcome to episode 61 of Let's FIFA 13. And we start this episode off by going into the round of 16 in the Gold Cup, and we, of course, we go with our silver side, and we come up against not the strongest team, a lot of players out of position and formation, uh, and not really linking up with each other. And that meant that he didn't really create many chances in this uh, game. And in the 10th minute, I get my first one. Nice stuff here from uh, Fed Facetis. Try to cross it in with the scoop chip, but no goal before the second half here with a Fed Facetis. And a few minutes later, Acevedo on the ball. Nice stuff here to get past the defender, but the header goes wide there. And then we go into the 82nd minute where I managed to pick up a free kick. Uh, and this silver side, it does not have that stellar free kick taker. So I was not quite sure what to do. At first of all, let's try and pass it. Then of all, let's look at the free kick takers in the team. And as you can see, not the best stats. Uh, and in the end, my choice is a Fed Facetis. Uh, and I thought, let's try and curl it around the wall. And then I thought, no, let's try a driven free kick instead. And that is what we do. And look at that free kick by Fed Facetis to make it 2-0. A really nice goal. And in the end, he does manage to make it 2-1. But it didn't really matter too much. I win and I'm through to the quarterfinals. And that is the next game we will play as well. And uh, as you can see, yeah, I converted Acevedo to a left wing back. I got a few comments saying he would get 9 chemistry that way. And he sure does. Because on Foothead, he is only shown to get a 7 chemistry as a left wing back on the left mid position but in the game he will get nine chemistry and that might be a cool thing for you guys if you're looking to build a silver side a skill side you should probably try and get Acevedo uh, into that side because he is a little bit better and uh, Gary McKay Steven at least if you want a better players around so yeah if you're looking to build a silver skill side maybe you want to try out th that technique uh, but moving on to the gameplay here I win a free kick and he puts a player on the line chip over the wall a bicycle kick and it's 1-1 a nice goal there by Quincy and we continue on scoring nice goals in each game uh, but he will manage to get a goal here on the rebound his second rebound goal of the game uh, and then in the 64th minute I make my way into the box and I pick up a penalty uh, and uh, we will have a money artist to convert that uh, down the middle uh, to make it 2-2 back into the game uh, and I try to push for that 3-2 goal uh, to see if I can win the game here with Wallace and nice stuff but he makes a slight tackle and it goes out for a corner by sell kick but once again is saved and here you see the full time stats I felt I should have won the game in a in, not in full time but uh, we go into extra time uh, and he does actually manage to pick up a third goal here from the corner bad stuff by me and it's a 3-2 uh, and I go for the third goal first here with Acevedo making his way into the box he managed to save that one and we go into the second half of extra time before I managed to make it 3-3 and we in the end we go into penalties I miss my first one and he scores and then I managed to uh, score and he uh, managed to get I managed to save his shot and then it just went downhill he saves mine he scores uh, and it didn't look uh, too good at that point and then he saves another one and he scores another one here and uh, I go out in the quarterfinals I I felt like I should have won the game but uh, that's sometimes how it is sometimes you have to score on your chances and I didn't do that so uh, I went into division one instead of going with the Ronaldo Ronaldinho side and I'll come up against a 3-4-1-2 side uh, quite pacey in the defense and uh, then closer and uh, Snyder in the attack uh, quite interesting to see how that works out and I thought this was a penalty but it is not and in the end it is him managing to get the ball here with a Di Natale a nice fake shot there and he makes it 1-0 in the 21st minute and then in the 45th fifth minute check does not get on the ball and a nice header by closer to make it 2-0 and there's something about being down 2-0 I tend to score kickoff goals after that and here it's Ronaldo using some of the very basic skill moves but it does work out and it makes it a 2-1 to me and in the second half I pick up a free kick and Ronaldo he will step up for that and he does have really good free kick stats and it's a 2-2 and a few minutes later I believe it's a f 5 minutes later we will find Ronaldo here over the top ball makes his way into the box a stop and turn skill move and a penalty and Ronaldo he will of course step up for that as well and he will convert it to make it 3-2 and he will complete his hat-trick off the game so that is pretty much how my first game of the division end I get a three points and that is probably the, one of the better starts uh, to division one I've had in a long time uh, but I thought uh, to go back into this uh, gold cup going into the round of 16 for once again with the silver side and I will eventually find an opponent here after a bit of searching and uh, he does have another uh, quite a pacey side here another 3-4-1-2 formation with just a pace all over the place apart from uh, Milito and he does manage to get a rebound goal here in the 11th minute to make it 1-0 and I'll try and push back not quite sure what to do here with Elton and in the end I pass it into Fit Facetis and he makes his way past the defender and it's 1-1 and Fit Facetis have actually scored quite a lot of goals for me he's a pretty good goal scorer there on the striker position uh, and we go into the second half here with Wallace 
Anderson going past a few defenders, getting a shot in, but he goes just wide. Uh, and in the end, he does actually manage to hit me on the counter here with Muriel, the pace, and a shot to make it a 2-1. And I'm suddenly trailing. And then in the 89th minute, I will cross it in from a corner, and I will find, uh, I believe it's a Fed Facetis once again to make it a 2-2. But the 19th minute wasn't over. He will cross it in, find Melito, and it's 3-2. And I go out in the round of 16. So quite frustrating. Uh, and I don't want to end the episode on a loss. So we go into another go game in the Gold Cup. And I will come up against another really, really, really pacey side. Five at the back, just pace, and look at that front three. He's just going on, uh, going to hit me on the counters every single time. But we get the game started here with Elton getting a shot in, but a quite easy save there from his keeper. And in the end, he somehow makes his way past my defenders with Nasserino, and it's 1-0. So a really bad start to the game, but nice stuff here from Wallison going past his defenders, and it's 1-1. Back into the game. And then into the second half here, Elton on the ball, quite lucky here, I pick the ball up with Acevedo and it's a 2-1 and that is how the game will end and that will be the end of the games for this episode. Uh, but I will end this episode off by sending all my players to the trade pile apart from Inform Ronaldinho. I felt it was time to change my squad and also get rid of Ronaldo, I wanted to try out some sort of different team. Uh, and I, I've said this before, Ronaldo kind of changed the mindset of your opponent. So I wanted to maybe get Neymar and Ibrahimovic, something like that. So yeah, guys, leave a comment down below which team I should build. And that will be all for this episode. I hope you did enjoy it and I will talk to you later.